Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taste of whiskey.com and today I have a specialty here in my cask and it's a little weird. So no surprise, surprise. Yeah. So it's the Johnny Walker Blue Label Ghost and Rare Edition Pity Wesh. Pity Wesh is a special malt whiskey distillery. Ah, let me say something uh, to the bottle. It's 43.8 ABV and costs close to 300 euros, dollars, pounds, wherever you live. So Pity Wesh is a distillery which was founded in 1974, so quite late, and was already closed in 1993. Yeah, Pity Wesh was a, uh, well, an experimental distillery which was built close to Mortlach, a little bit up the hill. And from there they had a small uh, pipeline to the bottling or to the uh, vatting uh, facility of Mortlach where they put the raw whiskey into the casks. So they had the possibility to experiment with distillation, with times, with uh, different shapes. So it was experimentally and uh, there hadn't been a lot of bottlings from Petit Wesh. There had been independent bottlings and there had been, I think, one original bottling from Diageo, which is the possessor of, was the possessor of <coughs> uh, Petit Wesh and is still the owner of the blue label, the Johnny Walker. And uh, this distillery was then dismantled after a decade or so after closure. Uh, now it's gone. When I was there the last time, there had been uh, a cleared space. Probably now there will be a warehouse on it. No idea. Yeah, this whiskey looks or, or is uh, had a huge appearance. So we have this white uh, <clears throat> card box. Then we have the package and this package you're able to open to the side and have this wonderful Whoa! Yeah, yeah, you see uh, and uh, this bottle now it's becoming weird uh, some distance holder and here no cork this bottle is empty yeah why this well uh, I got this as a pre release of the uh, of the bottle uh, of the whole package and it's wonderful lightly blue uh, everything and uh, so I put it back in. And how to taste that? Well, I got a sample. <laughs> Here you can see uh, on the label, it's a full 0.7 liter sample of this wonderful Project Ghost 4 lab sample, laboratory sample. And this one was uh, bottled on, uh, what is this? September 28th, 2021. And it's a reference sample for commercial trade purposes. That's mine, yeah. So, and what's in this project? Typically, you have the Johnny Walker Blue label, which costs roughly half the price of this one, has a, a decent smoky aroma, uh, a lot of malt whiskey in it, uh, wonderfully balanced, uh, really a high end blended whiskey, blended scotch whiskey. So there's grain whiskey in it. And in this project Ghost 4, there's these or all the ghost projects still uh, already on the market and still to come uh, are blended whiskies as well. And in this one, we have as distilleries, Manock Moore, Ochroys, Craig and Moore, Strathmill and Royal Naga, and as the specialty, the Pity Wech on top. And to be rounded up as a blended Scotch whiskey, there are whiskies from grain whiskies from Port Dundas already closed and Carsbridge. I think they were closed as well in favor of the Cambus distillery. Uh, I'm not quite sure. So have a look at the content. 
So this is really a standard bottle with a uh, metal cap on it. So we put it here. And it has a wonderful, smooth, elegant nose. I'm able to tell you this this that fast because I had the whiskey before uh, for the German take of this video. And there's a well-rounded caramel vanilla note with a big, big sweetness in it and cinnamon. I like cinnamon very, very much. One of my favorite spices and the sweetness going over to honey, probably. Fruitiness, sweetness and astonishingly no uh, smokiness as with the typical blue label or you have it with the typical blue label. So here I do not find a, a smokiness in it. The aromatic note, I think there is an aromatic note in it. I think it's coming from the casks. Yeah, it's larger. Yeah, with 43.8, it's more than a typical 40% of the Johnny Walker. And here you get a, a big mouthful, an attack on your tongue, uh, really a big, big volume, uh, dark fruits, some, well, apple crumble together with pears, and again, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit going over to the uh, Christmas season with all those spices around. The aftertaste not too long, very smooth. You can feel the, the oily grains in it and lightly sweet sugary and a decent amount of oak spiciness, but that appears as the cinnamon. We do not talk about cinnamon mixed with sugar, uh, this sweet thing you have for your your rice or so uh, no uh, this is cinnamon bark which gives a, a little bit of spiciness a little bit of sharpness in it yeah more vanilla more caramel and a little aromatic note probably from the burnt casks or might be a little bit of smokiness from the pity way mm, no idea yeah wonderfully balanced full complex intense mm -hmm. so this is a real masterpiece of johnny walker and it shows that they are the leading whiskey manufacturer in scotland so that's it for today thank you very much for watching stay tuned there's more to come